Good morning. It's um, now time for me to do another of these video blogs. I apologise if there's noise in the background today. It's just that I've got my dogs um, sat behind me and uh, when I did a little record, test recording earlier they started barking so hopefully they won't this time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be looking at a quick review of uh, units 5 and 6 of the cult course. So these were looking at voice and uh, the unit five. Number six was looking at um, the slides, the visuals that you use. Um, yeah, it's the, um, unit five, the, the one on voice, um, got a few useful techniques there, just about where to position the microphone, um, various things like that. Uh, yeah, there was a discussion about what kind of headset to use, whether you need to use a USB mic. Uh, USB headset or a audio jack headset. Um, I say I've just got a relatively cheap audio headset, but I think the audio works okay most of the time because I usually have, say in this room, I've got the head. I usually have the windows closed and I have the dogs out of the room, so it's nice and quiet. And I think the laptop I'm using has actually got a decent sound card. Um, after doing a little bit of looking up, just trying to get my head round more detail about the difference between the USB and um, uh, stereo normal jack headset. I didn't realise that the USB headset, it, when you put, use the USB, it's like the USB has got a built-in sound card as opposed to using the computer one, which makes sense. Um, maybe I've just got a laptop that's got a decent sound card in and, and the USB one is, isn't as good. But also, whenever I've used a USB headset, I've always found it a bit fiddly. Um, when you plug it in, uh, picking it up, and sometimes it doesn't pick it up right, and then if yeah, I, I, just, I don't know, I've, just, I've, I've always found them more trouble than the worth. Um, so I always go with just a, a basic, um, a basic audio jack headset. Um, just have a look at my notes. Any other things to pick up from there? Um, no, I think I, I say I think there's various other bits and pieces. Uh, again, some useful techniques, but nothing major. It, it wasn't, didn't blow me away as it wasn't as impressive as some of the other sessions for me. Um, so yeah, I didn't get as much out of it. I don't think. Um, but the yeah, moving on to the one that was looking at slides and. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting combination of practical tips and some theory. The theory, some of the theory is quite interesting. It didn't necessarily make me change the way I do so, the way I do things um, from the theory side of things. In fact, so um, if you have, if you do have to have text on screen, you do, I, I, I try not to talk while there's text on the screen, give people a chance to read. And this was uh, looked at the reasons behind that and had the um, discussion of the visual channels and verbal channels and various th and um, things related to that. And uh, I found that quite interesting um, how text, even text written down, still counts as a verbal channel because you're basically sort of reading it in your head and there's a voice in your head. I thought that was an interesting way of looking at it. Um, yeah, actually, there are quite a lot of very good practical tips on there. Just little, and some. I think it's one of those things where if you actually sat down and thought and thought about it, maybe a lot of people would come up with these tips and these ideas themselves. Things like having the images on the full screen rather than just as an image within the slide. But it's it's one of those things where it's actually there as part of a. A course part of the session is actually makes you think. Actually, yeah, that that does look better. That so you are taking the time out to actually think about these kind of things. Um, yes. So there was also some practical tips on some websites where to get um, uh, images. Uh, so Morg Files one and uh, iStock was another. But I say I I often use uh, Creative Commons images from Flickr. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I was quite impressed, thought that was a good session. So uh, next Tuesday is my next session, So um, and possibly another one of these blogs after that. Bye for now.